everyone, I'm Coach Dale Sanford with BPC Performance Coaching. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to show you how to get your uh, Garmin GPS and power and all that kind of stuff. All that data, I want to show you how to get it from your Garmin device uh, onto your iPad so that you can upload it to Training Peaks, Strava, or whatever website you use to analyze data. Uh, traveling, uh, training for endurance events becomes uh, you become a camel, a pack rat. Uh, you're bringing tons of stuff, so bringing a computer on top of that is a, is a huge waste of space. So with this process, uh, all you have to do is bring an iPad um, and a couple other little pieces, uh, which don't take up space, and you can get all your data off of your watch onto the, uh, to the Internet and analyze it on the go. Now to do this, there is a catch. Uh, the main thing is you have to have a Garmin device that uses the Ant Plus dongle to transfer data. Um, as far as I know, uh, the ones that plug into the computer using a USB device, uh, this won't work on that. But if you have a, a 910XT, a 310XT, um, or any of the other ones that, that use that wireless dongle, you're good. The other thing you're going to need is this Wahoo Fitness Key. Um, I'll put the uh, website uh, down below in the description, but this is about 60 bucks. Um, I think you might be able to find it cheaper than that. Um, but this fits into the iPad, iPhone. Um, if you have one iPhone 5, uh, you may need one of these, which is the, uh, the 32 pin adapter to lightning. Um, this is good to have uh, as well. Now once you have all of your hardware, your iPad, your Wahoo key and any adapters you might need, uh, the next thing you need to do is go download the Wahoo Fitness app. Now it's only an iPhone app but you can get it on your iPad. So you need to make sure when you're looking into the App Store that you search iPhone apps and not iPad only. Now the first thing you need to make sure is that your pairing is turned on your GPS. You can do this by going into your settings, going to system, and then scrolling down to data transfer, and then going down to pairing and making sure that pairing is turned on. Next, you want to make sure that your Wahoo Fitness Key is plugged in to your device. Um, after that, you just want to open the Wahoo Fitness app, and then you'll see the button Workout History, and you'll want to hit Workout History. And then there's an option at the top that says Import from Garmin Watch. We want to hit that. Now, if your device has never been paired, your watch may beep at you and ask if you want to pair with another device. If it does that, make sure you click yes. Right now it's searching, ah, it's asked me, pair unknown, do I want to pair? Always click yes. And now it's going to transfer the data from the device to the Wahoo Fitness app. Now as you can see at the top, we've got uh, choices of which workouts to import. Now the only problem with this is you can only do one at a time. If it's a big workout it may be a lot slower than a computer. But you just want to click on the one that you want to get from the watch and click download. It'll go through the process of importing the file and then you'll see it at the very top. It'll give you all your data. You can click on it um, this was just a treadmill session, so there's not really any data to go with it. But if you click in the upper right hand uh, of the Wahoo app, um, as long as you have your Training Peaks and Strava or whatever uh, analytics website you use, uh, as long as you have your accounts uh, tied to the Wahoo app, you can do a one button, one touch transfer to each one of them. So there goes to Training Peaks. Next one, upload to Strava. 
one button and your workouts are on, uh, on their way. Now, I hope that little tutorial helped you out in some way or at least uh, freed up some space in your baggage uh, for about 10 extra tubes next time you travel. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you ever want us to review anything, don't hesitate to hit us up on Facebook or shoot us an email. Um, and don't forget to join our newsletter. We give out a lot of free training advice. A lot of great stuff goes out on the newsletter. Um, thanks again. Until next time.